Grand Canyon National Park is a famous UNESCO World Heritage Site containing one of the world's natural wonders and over 2,000 species. The first people known to have passed through this region were hunter-gatherers who lived here 10,000 years ago. Other Native American tribes, such as the Navajo, lived here before as well. The first pioneers settled on the edge of the Grand Canyon in the late 19th century and were interested in its potential as a mining center, but tourism quickly became its largest resource. This park is one of the oldest and protected areas in the U.S. and was designated a national park in 1919. Last year alone, the popular park hosted almost 6 million visitors. This unique park with approximately 5,000 kilometers of area is found in the Colorado Plateau in northwestern Arizona. The semi-arid climate, flat topography and basin, valley and canyon landforms are common in this part of southwest. High elevations support forests while deserts are found in low elevation basins. The rocks in Grand Canyon National Park were formed in the Precambrian era when the Colorado River was diverted and cut into the land. This caused the actual formation of the canyon. The Colossal Canyon is on average 4,000 feet deep with its steepest point resting 6,000 feet down. Its widest point measures approximately 95,000 feet across. Around 40 different types of rocks have been identified in the Grand Canyon's many layers. This region has been studied for around 150 years and new discoveries are still being made, making this park a fascinating resource for scientists to determine environmental changes in ancient eras. In addition, this park has become a conservation site for many endangered species such as the California condor. The California condor is scientifically known as the Gymnogyps californianus are one of the largest and rarest birds in the world with an enormous wingspan up to 3 meters. They are classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. During the Pleistocene era, condors were found all across of North America and fossils of condors during this time period have been found in the Grand Canyon. These ancient birds fed on megafauna that became extinct in the late Pleistocene era, resulting in a reduction in the condor populations. They can now be found in the wild in Arizona, Utah, and California. Condors roost on protrusions and caves on the faces of cliffs. They find new places to roost daily unless they are hatching. Yes, their babies are born with their eyes open. As scavengers without a sense of smell, they use their vision to find and eat only large dead animals such as cows, deer, and elk. While you can't get up to go grab food from the kitchen, sometimes these condors will fly hundreds of miles in search of food. In addition, these vultures are very graceful and energetically efficient flyers and have an aerodynamic design and thermal updrafts to glide. Condors can live into their 60s and mate for life. However, they can lay only one egg and raise that chick until it's 18 months old. The Nature Serve ranks based on National Park Service. Both classify the California condor as critically imperiled. On a global level, they are considered at a very high risk of extinction, and within the state of Arizona, they are also at a very high risk of extirpation. The interference of humans severely reduced the condor's population size. People shot the birds, collected their eggs, built power lines that they would crash into, and ruin their habitats. Today, the biggest threat is lead poisoning from eating animal carcasses that were killed by humans with unremoved lead bullets. Approximately 67% of condors die from lead poisoning. By the end of the 1930s, condors were found only in California. In 1966, they were one of the first species to be listed under the Endangered Species Protection Act. By 1982, there were only 22 wild condors left in the entire world, and it was expected that they would tragically become extinct. Luckily, the condors have benefited significantly from recovery efforts involving captive breeding, reintroductions, and intense management of free-flying populations. In 2014, there were over 200 free-flying individuals with reintroduced populations. However, they require continued intensive management after release as there are persistent threats impeding their success, such as human hunting, and thus lead poisoning. The lead fragments have many different fates when ingested. They can retain the lead in their gastrointestinal tracts, blood, soft tissues, or even in their bones. In condors, up to 88% of them had lead concentrations in their blood exceeding 10 micrograms per deciliter. Arizona alone showed greater than 60% of elevated lead exposure in their condors. These birds are regularly captured and screened for lead concentrations and those with high concentrations are treated with a process called chelation. This is when they use a chemical to bind to the lead to create less toxicity of the lead. 48% of reintroduced species in Arizona had blood lead levels exceeding 45 microliters per deciliter.
In terms of other human disturbances, the park has now banned the use of drones. Understanding and having a good amount of knowledge on condors is important to their conservation. However, the capture and screen process has become more difficult considering their broader ranges and fewer appearances. Therefore, it is extremely important to enforce the use of steel ammunition that is just as lethal and effective as lead-based. Hopefully, the US FWS Condor Program, the Peregrine Fund Condor Program, can come together with the Grand Canyon National Park to provide even more conservation programs for these organisms. Next time you go hunting, please consider using steel ammunition. And as a tourist, you may want to take the opportunity to learn more about condors and the role they play in maintaining the ecological balance of the Grand Canyon and surrounding area. Bring binoculars, and if you see a bird that looks like a small plane, count yourself lucky to have witnessed a form of life that truly defied the odds.